What's Happening is a classic 1976 TV series that left an indelible mark on television history. As we delve into the world of this beloved show, we invite you to ponder two thought-provoking questions. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? Out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing facts about the show. What's Happening was a sitcom that introduced us to the lives of three lovable friends Raj, Rurun, and Dwayne as they navigated the ups and downs of adolescence in a vibrant 1970s Los Angeles. The show was renowned for its humorous and relatable portrayal of the teenage experience, and it quickly became a cultural phenomenon. The show's charm extended beyond its characters. Its catchy theme song, Ooh, 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 What's Happening, remains etched in our memories. What's Happening also addressed important social issues of the era, making it not just entertaining but also thought-provoking. As we explore this iconic series, we encourage you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to what's happening. We look forward to your insights and anecdotes. Let's reminisce about the good old days together. What's Happening is a classic TV series that originally aired in 1976. Inspired by the 1975 film Cooley High, the show was a groundbreaking sitcom for its time, featuring an all-African-American cast. It revolved around the lives of three teenage friends Raj, Dwayne, and Maroon as they navigated the challenges of growing up in a working-class neighborhood. The characters were iconic, Raj, the level-headed aspiring writer, Dwayne, his witty and mischievous best friend, and Rurun, the lovable, food-loving dancer. The show's unique style lay in its ability to blend humor, relatable teenage experiences, and social commentary. It tackled issues like family dynamics, friendship, and the challenges of adolescence with a lighthearted and humorous touch. What's Happening left a lasting impact on popular culture, particularly through its catchphrases and memorable moments such as Rurun's dance moves and the hey, hey, hey greeting. It remains a beloved series remembered for its representation and its ability to entertain and resonate with diverse audiences. Eric Monty's lawsuit against the producers of What's Happening was a significant moment in the history of television, highlighting the often complex and contentious issues that can arise behind the scenes of even the most beloved shows. Monty, a talented writer and creator, believed that he had not received the recognition and credit he deserved for his role in bringing the series to life. At the heart of his legal battle was the promise of a producer credit, which he felt was not fulfilled. This dispute brought to the forefront the ongoing struggle for creators and writers to receive their due recognition in an industry where success is often attributed to a collective effort. The lawsuit was a stark reminder that the entertainment industry isn't always as smooth and glamorous as it appears on screen. As the legal battle raged on, it became a talking point in the entertainment world and fans of the show began to wonder about the drama unfolding off-camera. The behind-the-scenes disputes of what's happening were laid bare for all to see, exposing the complexities and challenges that can arise in the quest to bring entertainment to the masses. Ultimately, an out-of-court settlement was reached, but the lawsuit left a lasting impact. It served as a reminder that creative disputes and issues of credit and recognition are not uncommon in the entertainment industry. In a world where collaboration is key, such disputes can sometimes overshadow the final product, reminding us that the path to creating the shows we love is often fraught with challenges and complexities. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of what's happening and the many stories, controversies, and triumphs that have shaped it. One, while she was starring as Mabel Thomas on this show, Mabel King starred in two of the biggest releases of the 70s, The Wiz and The Jerk. In 1976, the TV series What's Happening captured the hearts of viewers with its relatable and humorous portrayal of teenage life. One of the show's standout stars, Mabel King, who played Mabel Thomas, had a remarkable year. While gracing the small screen in her role on the show, she also made a significant mark on the big screen. In the same year, she appeared in not one, but two major 70 seconds film releases, The Wiz and The Jerk. King's talent shone brightly both on television and in the movies, cementing her status as a versatile and accomplished actress during this iconic era. Mabel King's dual success on television 
and in blockbuster films was a testament to her acting prowess and versatility. Her contributions to the world of entertainment, both on the small and big screens, left a lasting legacy. What's happening? And her roles in those 70 Seconds movies remain fondly remembered by fans, showcasing her talent and leaving an indelible mark on the era. It's a testament to her skills and the impact of what's happening. As a cultural phenomenon of the time, the show and King's achievements in 1976 are a testament to the diverse talents that graced the entertainment world during that era. Mabel King and her significant roles in The Wiz and The Jerk are a remarkable part of the show's history and the broader context of 70 Seconds Entertainment. As we look back on the iconic series What's Happening, it's important to remember the incredible talents like Mabel King who contributed to its success and the cultural landscape of the 70 Seconds. This fact about Mabel King's dual success in 1976 is just one of the many fascinating aspects of what's happening that continue to captivate audiences even today. One, according to writer Eric Monty, ABC had originally planned to do a TV version of Cooley High. After a poorly received pilot, ABC retooled it completely, and this show was the result. In 1976, the TV series What's Happening burst onto the small screen, capturing the hearts of viewers with its relatable and humorous portrayal of teenage life. What many might not know is that the show's origins were rooted in ABC's initial plan to adapt the 1975 film Cooley High into a television series. However, the pilot for this concept didn't quite hit the mark, leading to a complete overhaul. It was from this creative revamp that What's Happening emerged, becoming a beloved classic in its own right. Eric Monty, the writer, played a pivotal role in shaping the series, and his vision ultimately led to the creation of the show we fondly remember today. This fascinating tidbit of television history underscores the evolution and adaptation that often occurs behind the scenes in the entertainment industry. What's happening may have started as a different concept, but it went on to make its mark as a groundbreaking sitcom that resonated with audiences, all thanks to the creative ingenuity that shaped its journey. It's a reminder that even in the world of television, where success seems assured, there are twists and turns that can lead to unexpected and remarkable outcomes. The story of what's happening is a testament to the power of reinvention and the ability of talented individuals like Eric Monty to transform a concept into a cultural phenomenon. The show's journey from Cooley High adaptation to a beloved series is a testament to the ever-evolving nature of the entertainment industry. As we bid farewell to the vibrant world of what's happening, we embark on a journey through time, a passage back to 1976 when the series first graced our screens. This iconic show, with its heartwarming humor and unforgettable characters, has left an indelible mark on our collective memories. In the bustling streets of Los Angeles, we followed the lives of Raj, Dwayne, Rerun, and the entire ensemble, sharing in their laughter, their challenges, and their triumphs. The show effortlessly captured the spirit of the 70 seconds, from funky dance moves to the groovy soundtrack that became the backdrop of our lives. Now, it's your turn to reflect on your personal connection with what's happening. What memories does it evoke for you? Did you groove along with the gang, or perhaps it was the relatable slice of life moments that resonated with you? Whether it's a hilarious scene or a life lesson that stuck with you, we want to hear your thoughts and cherished memories. Share your favorite moments and reflections about the show in the comments below. Let's celebrate the timeless magic of what's happening together and keep the spirit of the 70 seconds alive. Thank you for taking the time to journey down memory lane with us. Your interest and nostalgia are greatly appreciated.